Hello, this is Chen Duo Wang. Uh, I'm glad to present a joint work by the University of Utah and uh, Tsinghua University on studying user simulation for conversational search. Uh, in this work, in, we investigate the challenges of user simulation for conversational search and present some timely analysis. Uh, let me define the user response simulation task first. Um, so imagine a search scenario where the user was looking for an anti-spyware named Defender. The user searched, tell me about Defender, and didn't realize that the word Defender could have other meanings. Uh, the system was confused and asked the user if they meant the TV series Defender. Uh, the user simulation task is basically uh, defined as a sequence-to-sequence -sequence text generation task, where the goal uh, is to generate an answer Given the three folded inputs, uh, the user's intent, uh, the ambiguous query, and a clarifying question from the system. So before, drawing, uh, before jumping to our paper, we want to explain why simulating users is important. Uh, if we look at the existing conversational search data sets, uh, the majority of them contain only one human written conversation on each search topic. And this could be a sparse and uh, expensive representation of the openness of conversational search. The reason is that um, besides the one conversation recorded in the data set, there could also be many unexplored directions for any single conversation of search. And uh, there's little hope that a model trained this way can fully understand the search topic, uh, let alone generalize to unseen topics. User simulation allows uh, the research community to create more conversational search data sets and more conversation paths on any single search topic with lower costs. And another incentive for simulating users is uh, the evaluation. Having a reliable user simulator could significantly reduce evaluation costs and enable dynamic conversational search evaluation, which means we can now evaluate Carlyphon questions or conversation paths that were not recorded in data sets. Well, there are, there are a few uh, existing approaches for simulating users in conversational search. And we highlight three existing approaches here. Their approaches fine tune answer classifiers or generators or leverage large language models to generate user responses. However, we find that uh, they are either limited to only responding to yes, no questions um, or unable to generate high quality responses in general. The table below shows that simply fine tuning T5 small can already outperform these approaches significantly. And these improvements are quite significant for a model that is four orders of magnitude less than GP 3.5. And this could imply that LOMs may not be specialized enough for user simulation in this case. So instead of simply reporting this as a new state of the art, we conduct an in-depth investigation on the T5 small generations. In doing so, we examine a total of 360 examples with low root scores. As a result, we categorize six reasons for them. Uh, they include generation failures, uh, reasons for misevaluation and reasons for why user simulation is hard. And the two most popular classes comprise 65% of the low scoring examples. Uh, here we will only briefly explain these two and uh, leave the rest to be discovered in paper. So the most common generation failure is uh, generating the wrong answer type, where the generated and human generated answers have the opposite meanings. And this is usually because uh, T5 fails to understand the semantic similarity or differences between the intent and the clarifying question. Um, from the observation during our manual analysis, we noticed that uh, the similarity between user simulation and question answering in that both tasks require a response to a question given some contexts. Therefore, we leverage this similarity and um, which is never mentioned by previous approaches. Our method is to fine tune a Roberta classifier as an answer typing classifier and fine tune a unified QA as a generator. Uh, the type predicted from Roberta will be constrained, uh, will be used to constrain the generation of unified QA. 
And the second most common reason is what we call cooperativeness mismatch. Um, sometimes human tends to answer the clarifying question with minimal effort, such as just a yes or no, while the simulator provides more information in its response, and uh, sometimes vice versa. These uh, generated responses from uh, the user simulators uh, are fine, but their evaluation metrics can be low. We observe that uh, the cooperativeness level of human answers tend to be random in the data set. Therefore, it is uh, really unre uh, unreasonable to predict, to ask the model to predict this cooperativeness as part of its output. Rather, we propose to um, generate uh, any, any answer with a specific cooperativeness. This again is uh, rarely mentioned in previous works. Hence, as an alternative to the current evaluation setup, we separate the data set by the answer cooperativeness, which is approximated by a text length. And then we train cooperative and uncooperative user simulators and evaluate them in two sets to avoid misevaluation. Uh, in our work, we conduct experiments with three research questions. The first and second uh, studied the effectiveness of the solution uh, we proposed for the two most common failure types. Uh, in addition, uh, we compare our proposed method with the state-of-the-art LOMs. And our experiment results are evaluated in four aspects, including uh, automatic metrics, metrics and human evaluation. Uh, the automatic metrics include uh, text generation metrics such as blue rouge and uh, blue rouge and meteor, and an answer typing F1 score and uh, some retrieval metrics. Um, as we seen in, as we have seen in the previous slides, uh, these automatic metrics can be unreliable for various reasons. Uh, hence, we try to use uh, use them all together, plus human evaluations uh, to be comprehensive. So human evaluations. Um, uh, have two uh, metrics. So the first one is relevance, which is defined as how the generated response is relevant to the topic and whether it can help clarify the query. Uh, naturalness is defined as how these generated response uh, sound compared to real humans, basically how um, they are human-like. Here are the results on the QLAC dataset, which is the first dataset we use. Uh, we compare our methods with uh, existing state-of-the-art approaches and zero-shot LMs, including GPTs, uh, LAMA2, and FLEN-T5, uh, which were uh, the leading models. Results show that our proposed method uh, significantly outperformed all existing state-of-the-art method and all zero-shot LLMs in most columns. Um, we also tried LLMs with future settings, where uh, we gave them three user simulation examples and asked them to generate the response. Uh, these can be found in the appendices of our paper. However, these differences are not significant. Um, so our, uh, we also find our proposed method can also achieve on-par performance with the, the Oracle model in terms of document retrieval. And all of these results suggest that our method to improve answer typing accuracy is uh, effective. Uh, the result on the uh, Clarity Q dataset, which is uh, our second dataset, uh, gave a similar conclusion that our methods are indeed effective. And then we ask MTurk workers to give a score from one to five for each generated user response in terms of uh, relevance and naturalness. Results show that human also prefer, uh, prefer our method over the T5 small baseline for generation relevance. Also human prefer our method over an intent copying oracle for naturalness. And this means that our method generates relevant responses while keeping a high resemblance to humans. Next, uh, we highlight the results that demonstrate the effectiveness of our cooperativeness aware evaluation. Uh, so we can see all the models receive higher scores we are, uh, when they are evaluated with separated cooperativeness. This means that uh, the cooperativeness mismatch issue can be effectively avoided with this simple data partitioning method. Um, ideally, we should also compare how these scores uh, correlate with human performances. 
And after all these automatic and human evaluations, we conduct a final hand analysis of all the low scoring examples in these experiments. And this result shows that uh, our two methods for the major failures are indeed effective. And the, uh, as they each uh, significantly reduce the failure rates of the type they are designed for. To summarize the contribution of our work, we investigate the challenges of user simulation and the problems of existing systems and evaluations. We share our findings in this process, which is uh, the primary contribution of this work. And we propose some methods to address them. As a solution, we demonstrate a simple two-step generation system, which significantly improves uh, existing systems. I thank you for checking out our work. Our paper and code are available online. Uh, I'm now happy to take any questions.